Good morning. <clears throat> this is Brad from the beach. Uh, we're looking at some passages out of Isaiah 55. As I explained, I wanted to walk through this uh, passage in 55 a little bit with you this week. <clears throat> it's exciting to me to do, have the opportunity, not only for my own personal edification, <clears throat> to read through this and meditate, but also to be able to share it with you. Because we need a reminder every day that God is with us and that His Word is true now and will be true for all eternity. And it has its application to us moment by moment as we understand it and appropriate it and obey it. So I want you to look with me at chapter 55, beginning with verse 6 in Isaiah. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call on him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake their ways and the unrighteous their thoughts. Let them turn to the Lord and he will have mercy on them and to our God, for he will freely pardon. You know, we're living in an age where there's so much judgment and so many accusations. And there are times when you really feel like the judgment that's been placed on you is just unfair. Times when you look around and you see things that you want to correct, but just as soon as you speak a word of correction, then you get categorized by somebody as being a malcontent or someone who is judgmental or unloving. And, and truth of the matter is, that gets very painful for us. And so what this passage is saying to us, look, just seek the Lord. Just seek His face. He's given us His word. It's a true and lively word. So our mandate really is to step into his presence daily, moment by moment, so that in his presence we can hear rightly what the Holy Spirit is saying. And then we can move through the power of the Holy Spirit and navigate this journey that we're on. And so my, my thought uh, for you today would be this, that Let's turn and make sure that we are those that are turning uh, to the Lord in this season. And, and as we do that, we are buoyed by his love, by his forgiveness, and by the challenge to walk uprightly before him. But he also says that when we look around us, there's a world out here that really does need to forsake, if you will, turn away from, repent of, and turn to the Lord. Repent from their wicked ways. Wickedness is a serious thing, y'all. It's doing that thing to others or in this realm, what we know is totally offensive to God and offensive to his nature. And so the cry here is, let's turn from our wicked ways and let you and myself and others who claim to be the righteousness of God through the blood of Jesus, that we then would turn to the Lord and live as righteous people in this realm. One of the best ways to combat what the enemy is trying to bring right now to separate us and to cause unfair condemnation and judgment uh, being passed out to one another is for you and me and others who love him to turn our hearts to him and in this season be the righteous people that we've been called to be. One of the greatest things you and I can do as children of the Most High God is to live like it. Sometimes I'm sure you've heard the saying, I, I really can't uh, hear what you're saying because of the way you live. In other words, the way we live can discredit what we're saying. And so let us turn to the Lord in the season and be strengthened by his presence and then commit ourselves through the power of the Holy Spirit to go out and live in this realm as the righteousness of God. People who love truth people who will speak truth, people who are willing to be held accountable, but people who won't back off in the face of wickedness and ugliness, but that we will put forth what we are to be and what we are in Christ, the righteousness of God revealed in this realm, which simply means turn to him, be before him as you should, repent of wrong, take into yourself that freedom in the Holy Spirit, and just go out the door daily and love folks like you've been loved. It's a great challenge, uh, but the truth of the matter is, he's already won the victory. All we need to do is submit and step into it and love like we've been loved. So this is Bread from the Beach. Be blessed. <laughs>